day 15, sneaking up on the sheep to see what we've got in the paddock. I'm going to have to separate them today so that I can get the lambs into the better paddock. When I got home from feeding the calves at the dairy farm this morning, I found this sheep here um, looking a little worse for wear. I couldn't quite figure it out at first, but she didn't look like she was doing too well with her birthing. Um, so I wanted to stand back a little while and just be sure that she was having trouble. But it wasn't looking right, the way she was panting and the way her head was resting down on the ground. Well, she's on her feet now. This one here, bowing away. <coughs> Laying down for a feed, what a lazy one. Funny. Oh, sheep. How's that for a posture? <laughs> sent the sheep without babies into the neighbouring paddock and I have opened the gates into the nursery paddock getting the last of the babies into the nursery paddock this one here on the right has some amazing facial markings look at it and that beautiful spot on its back there was eight in here and this sheep's going back and forwards I can't tell if she's looking for babies or if she's dropped them she looks like she's still got to give birth um, but I don't know where the other two maybe they got through the gate without me seeing hopefully they haven't just been taken overnight Check out the cute little droopy ears. Well I did it. Today I lambed my first lamb. It was a whopper of a thing and it's dead. It had a heartbeat when I pulled it out but we couldn't get it to take its first breath. It had a twin. Twin came out super easy and was kicking straight away and mum has uh, taken the twin happily. She's still laying down. It hurt her a lot giving birth. Well a forced birth. And this is the baby that didn't quite make it. As you can see, it's got the swollen tongue, um, and it's huge, fills up that wheelbarrow on its own. Um, and the other one obviously is much smaller, so it's a real shame to have lost that. And maybe if I'd had the confidence, I could have gotten to it sooner, but um, first time and lessons learned for next time. Oh, she's going to meet the new one. How sweet.
I think that's the hill mama there who went over to say hi. Let's go have a look at the baby. Oh, and she's on her feet. Oh, what a good mama. So there's the baby I delivered. Mum loves it. That first drink, Baba, go on. Next time, hopefully, I'll recognise the signs earlier. I reckon I could have got that other one out an hour or hour and a half earlier if I'd been more confident on it. That first lamb is way bigger than this little one. It's no wonder she needed some help. <laughs> oh, look. It's already getting its colostrum. Fantastic. Yeah, she barred loud when I pulled that first one out. Poor thing. It was tight too. It's almost stuck in her pelvis. She's doing great. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, another sheep giving birth. Gosh. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and the one I delivered, 20. Soon to be, I'm hoping, 22. This one looks like she's doing the normal thing, getting up and down and birthing on her own. I mean, she doesn't look comfortable by any stretch of the imagination, but she looks like she's doing a lot better than that last one. There we go, she delivered it. Beautiful, good girl. Just like that, good girl. And it's breathing. Don't let the sack away 
Let's face another. Oh, you're so good. Yes, it's up, it's up. Oh, today's count is 21. Does she have another one in there? That's the question. Oh, almost, almost. <laughs> oh, the action in the paddock now. Doesn't give up this one. Yay! It made it! It's on its feet. Oh, bless, she did have another one. Might have taken her a while, but she got there. You beauty. So we're at 22. Good numbers, indeed. Sounds so small. That's the fresh one. Give us a shake. <laughs> Gorgeous. Just gonna make home from work. I've seen Lamb's playing their favourite game. King of the Castle. <laughs> This morning with all the excitement of the, uh, the ewe who was struggling to lamb, I thought I'd only move six out of the paddock, six little lambs, and the, we found eight yesterday. I was like, oh well maybe the two just snuck through there while I wasn't looking. But actually, they were hiding from me in the paddock. And they've made themselves visible now. Way over there. So I've come to hustle them along. 
Yeah, the cows love to know what's going on. So this little addition brings today's count to 24, it should be. Although admittedly it's hard to keep count, I've kind of lost track. Are these old ones? We dropped your tail. No, these are fresh ones. <laughs> they look happy, those little ones. Cute black ears on one and white ears on the other. Mm-hmm. <laughs>